We'll get started in a Supta Baddha Konasana. Easy peasy, come to lie on your back. Soles of the feet come together. Move your ponytail off to the side if it's in your way. And your hands can either drape down by your sides. They can come to the tops of your thighs to help open up through the hip. Or a little more of a loving, restful pose. Maybe bring one hand to your belly, the other to the, your heart. To just bring your awareness to your body. Take a big inhale, fill all the way up through the lower belly. Feel your upper hand expand when you inhale further through the lungs. Find an extra sip of air at the top, hold it in. Exhale through the mouth. Awesome, I love it when I can hear those breaths at the beginning of class. Deep breath in, let's do that one more time. Fill up, feel that lower hand rise up, inhaling through the belly. Second hand rises, opening up through the chest and the heart. Let the, the air glide over your throat chakra, breath in, exhale through the mouth, <sighs> lots of air to rejuvenate, to revive. And then let's just bring our intention to our breath, starting to slow it down, make it intentional, feel the way that it's filling through the lungs and then also inviting new energy in through the legs, into the chest, into the shoulders, all the way through the fingertips. Move through your ujjayi breath, which is a big inhale through the nose, sealing the lips, finding an exhale through the nose. The air glides over your whisper muscles in the back of your throat. I'll let you set your own intention for class today. Again, whatever it is that you need more of in your life or what you need less of in your life, maybe you choose one word, one phrase, one happy moment of the day and keep that at the forefront of your mind for the entirety of class. Knowing that in 60 minutes, you can leave yourself completely transformed just by committing to the practice and committing to yourself being present the entire time. Reach your legs out long on the mat. Reach your arms up and overhead. Maybe you interlace the fingertips and flip the palms upward. Reach your toes even further like a big good morning stretch. Breath in. Exhale, release the bind with the hands. We'll start with a easy stretch here. Finding a crescent shape on the mat. So we're gonna keep our lower back flat on the mat. Walk your feet over to the right corner of the mat. And then your shoulders kind of stay in place, but you walk your hands over to the upper right corner. So we're finding this crescent shape or maybe a banana is an easier picture for you to bring to mind. And reach through the fingertips, through the toes, trying to keep that right or the left shoulder pinned down on the mat, the right, or the, excuse me, the left hip down. Breath in, reach long. Exhale, come back through center. Let's do that to the opposite side. So go ahead and pin that lower back down on the mat. Hands reach over to the upper left corner of the mat. And then your heels walk over to the left bottom corner. Finding the opposite banana shape here. Pinning your right shoulder down, your right hip down. Reach long. Press in. Come back through center, good. Reach long one more time. Let's interlace our hands and flip the fingers. Find some engagement and stretch through the core, through the midsection. Keeping your hands interlaced, hug your knees into your chest with the bind. Maybe you hug your forehead into your knees. Squeeze everything tight, good. Release the bind, knees come up to the center. Maybe you pop your hips over to the left, arms come to a T-shape. Go ahead and drop the knees over to the right side of the mat. Gaze comes to the left. Left shoulder stays down. Just finding a nice easy twist through the spine. Breath in. Breath out. Next breath in. Hips come up through center once again. Pop them over to the right side of the mat and then let your knees drop over to the left. Gaze comes towards the top of that right hand. 
keeping your knees stacked, but feeling the stretch through the back, through the shoulders. Breath in. Coming back through center on your breath out. Press your hands into your thighs. Find your shins parallel with the mat. We'll start to activate that lower core. So trying to press your quads away. Your quads are pressing back into your hands. Breath in. Maybe you start to feel that lower core start to shake. That's all good. Breath in. If you want to increase the pressure, you can raise that upper back off of the mat. Engage the core. Pull those ribs down and in. Breath in. Breath out, plant the heels, rise up, hands come back behind your sits bones, find a reverse tabletop, press into the feet, Woo! hamstring activated there. And maybe your gaze reaches back behind you. Good, lower down. We'll come release down again, we'll find our way into some bicycle twists. So left knee comes into our right or left elbow, right knee, left elbow, left leg extends long. Switch right elbow to left knee. Good. Holding it here, starting off nice and slow, pressing your elbow into your knee to engage the core switch. Let's go for four more, slow for four, for three, for two, hovering that long leg off the mat for one, pick it up for eight, quicker for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Rise up for your high boat pose. Shins are parallel with the earth. Once again, hinging on that lower spine. Roll your shoulder blades up and back. Palms are facing up. Breath in. Bring a softness to your face. It's just the beginning of class. Getting warmed up getting acclimated, feeling good in our bodies, feeling empowered, breath in. Exhale to stay. Find that reverse tabletop one more time. Hands come behind your hips, lift your hips up. Maybe your throat releases back behind you, gaze comes back. And then slowly sink your hips down to the ground. Let's cross at the ankles, find your way into a tabletop pose. Knees are stacked under your hips. Hands are under your shoulders. Press the tops of your feet down into the mat. Find some groundedness, some rootedness here. And we'll move through our cat-cow sequence. So inhale for your stargazing cow. Your shoulders roll back, heart comes forward, belly drops. Exhale, terrified cat, curl the spine, gaze comes back toward your navel. Inhale for cow, reach long, gaze rises. Exhale, cat, curl the spine, pull your belly button through the back of your spine. Two more rounds, inhale for cat. Exhale for cat. Feel how that breath connects to your movement. Inhale, cow, heart comes forward. Exhale, cat, curl it in, press the mat away. Come back through center. Right toes reach towards the back of the mat. Press your toes into the mat and then just open up through the back of that right leg, through the arch of the right foot. Feel that stretch. Let it feel good and comfortable here. All right, and then finding our way into an assisted side plank. You can either plant that left hand down, keep the left knee as is, spiral your right arm up. If you want a little extra stability, you can take those left toes off of the mat, maybe even tuck them under for some more support. Good. All right, we have people going into full side planks already. That's it. Stay with it. You look great. Finding our way into a gate pose, rise up on your left knee, plant into the right foot. Arms are at shoulder height. Good. Engage the core, reach long through the head. And then find your right hand down, your right leg, left arm lifts up. Stay open across the heart. Nice long stretch through the left side body. Breath in. Breath out, good work. Left hand comes right back down to the mat, finding an assisted half moon. So rising our right heel off of the mat, punching it towards the wall behind us. Good, right hand can stay at the hip or you can extend it up above. Open up through the left shoulder across the collarbone, breath in. Let's bend into the right knee. If that feels good to you, you can kick 
into your right hand by grabbing through the pinky, so pinky toe side of your foot. Outer right hip is drawing down, breath in. Come back through your supported half moon. And then right hand comes down to the mat. Then tuck your right knee under. We'll find a neutralizing cat-cow here. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat, engage the core. All right, find your neutral spine, gazes forward, and then step your left toes to the back of the mat. Same thing, opposite side. Let's open up through the back of the left leg, that left arch. Nice long spine, core is engaged the entire time. And then finding your supported side plank. Left arm rises this time. Plant the top of the left foot into the ground. Maybe those right toes spiral off of the mat. Engage the core by pulling your belly button through your spine and lifting up through the right side body. Push out of the ground, out of your right shoulder. Breath in. Breath out. Good work. Pressing, coming, rising up onto the right knee. Plant into that left foot. Arms are at shoulder height. And then reach down your left leg, right arm rises. Stay open on the right side body, reach tall, spark energy out through your fingers, breath in. Breath out, slowly come back down, finding our way to an assisted half moon on this side. Left toes rise, maybe your hand starts at your left hip. And when you're ready, you can rise it up. Your gaze comes towards the left hand. Punch your heel back, engage that left glute. Breath in. Maybe find the bind if you found it on the first side, grabbing the pinky toe side of that left foot and kicking into your hand. Finding a supported, we're in a bow, we're in a half moon. Supported sugar cane. We got a million names for everything here. Come back through your half moon and then plant that left hand down. All right, let's find our way to our downward facing dog. Hips go up and back. Pedal into your feet. Spread your fingertips wide. Press firmly into all 10 finger pads. You can continue to walk your dog or you can find stillness. Play around with both of them here. Your eyes of your elbows are shifting towards the front of your mat. Your chest is reaching back towards your thighs. Find a deep breath in, exhale, sink those heels further down towards the mat. Inhale, roll forward into your high plank. Readjust those feet so you're up on your tippy toes or the tops of the balls of your feet. Energy reaching backwards. Find a slight tuck of the tailbone, engage the core. Your shoulders are engaged, your back is engaged. Everything's in place, squeeze your glutes, breath in. Press the mat away, breath out. If you would like to find some active movement here, we'll be moving through our side planks, through center to find a plank. So if you need to drop to your knees at any time or find the supported side plank, you can. We're going to rise our left arm up, let our heels drape over to the right. So maybe your left foot is on top of the right or maybe it's in front. Press the ground away. Top hand comes down, high plank. Moving to the opposite side, left hand stays planted, heels come over to the left, right arm rises. Top hand plants, high plank. Let's find two more times each side at your own pace. Inhale as your arm lifts. Exhale as you come back through center. Inhale, right arm lifts. Awesome, y'all. Exhale, back through center. One more time each side. Inhale, left arm. Lift up through the hips, exhale, top hand comes down. Inhale, right arm, lift up. Exhale, top hand down. Knees come wide, find your child's pose. Knees to the edges of the mat, big toes come to touch. Sink your hips down towards your heels. Bring your forehead down to the mat and let it rock out side to side. Fingertips reaching long in front of you. Feel the stretch through the shoulder blades, through the armpits. Breath in. 
Breath out, press up to a tabletop on an inhale. Find a downward facing dog on an exhale. Good, y'all. Right leg reaches high to the sky for a three-legged dog. Draw your pinky toe down towards the earth. Press up and back through the heel. Engage the hamstring, engage the glute. Right knee, right elbow, shift forward. Tap it up on your tricep. Inhale, three-legged dog, take it up and back. Bend your knee, stack your hips. Right knee reaching up towards the ceiling. Right heel reaching to the outside of your left glute. Press firmly through the right hand, breath in. Three-legged dog, take it high. Exhale, step it between your hands. Good, nice long spine in our low runner's lunge here. Gazes forward on the ball mound of the left foot. Twisted runner's lunge, right arm reaches high. Awesome. Follow your gaze towards your top fingertips. Open up and let's roll onto the razor edge of both feet as we bend into the front knee we'll, and reach our right, to, our right hand towards our left foot. Good. Just finding this active stretch and engagement through this right hip. Come back through center. Drop your left knee, untuck your left toes, low crescent lunge. To start, bring your hand towards or on top of this right um, quad. Press the skin away and sink deep into your hips. Press firmly through this right heel. Inhale your arms up when you're ready. Pinkies are dialed towards one another. Roll your shoulder blades down your back. Stay strong through your lower body to grow long through your upper body. Breath in. Breath out, reach long through your side bodies. Left arm forward, right arm back. Twisted low crescent lunge. Keeping both hip points reaching forward, we're just twisting through the upper torso. Energy reaching out through your fingertips, feel your arms activate. Reverse low crescent lunge. Left arm reaches up and back. Maybe your right hand grabs the outside of the left thigh. Good, breath in. Breath out, slowly rise up. Finding our half splits, plant your hand around that front foot. Pop up on your right heel, right toes flex back towards your face. Hips are shifting back. Right leg reaching long, crown of the head long. Breath in. Breath out, plant into the right foot. Left foot meets the left, meets the right at the top of the mat. Find a forward fold, ragdoll pose. Grab opposite elbows, opposite hands. Shift back and forth. Make it active, make it a release. Wherever it feels good in your body whatever you need more of today. Release the bind, roll all the way up, one vertebrae at a time. Arms reach up to the sky, high prayer. Draw your hands down into heart center. Good, active pressing into the palms, active energy shared here, breath in. Breath out, arms reach up high. Once again, let's find a standing crescent shape to grab your left wrist with your right hand. I'm going opposite of y'all and then reach up and over to the right. Good. Breath in. Press through the outside of that left foot. Breath out. Inhale, rise. Grab your right wrist with your left hand. Reach tall and then up and over to the left. Good. Breath in. Breath out, inhale, rise, find a baby back bend, arms spread, squeeze your shoulder blades together, open up across the heart. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good. Whew. Inhale, arms reach up high. Exhale, forward fold, long spine, let it go. Go ahead and step your right foot back, then your left, find a high plank or excuse me, a down dog. <laughs> Inhale, roll forward to your high plank. Let's drop down, knees, chest, chin, all the way to the mat, El elbows squeeze in by your side. Find your baby cobra, press the tops of your feet into the mat, lift your upper chest. Those triceps engage, the lower back engages. 
Exhale, let's do that two more times. Baby Cobra, once again, squeeze your legs together, rise up. Exhale to lower. Activating our chest, getting our arms fired up. Inhale, rise, maybe a full Cobra this time. Exhale, lower. Bend your knees, come through tabletop, find a downward facing dog. Left leg reaches high, three-legged dog. Good, pinky toe dial down, lift your heel an inch higher. Left knee, left elbow, shift forward. Take it up high on that tricep. Inhale, take it high, three-legged dog. Bend your knee, stack your hips. Knee reaches high, heel reaches to the outside of the right hip. Press through the left hand, keep your upper torso square. Three-legged dog, inhale, take it high. Exhale, step it between your hands. Good, gaze is forward, plant your right hand, left arm reaches high, twisted runner's lunge. Stay powering through the ball bound of the right foot, squeeze your inner thighs together, reach long across the chest, and then come onto the pinky toe side of both feet, and then reach your left toes back towards your right foot. Breath in, breath out. Come back through center, find your low crescent lunge. Untuck your right knee, untuck your right toes. Well, oh, sorry, start by bringing your hand to that front knee, pushing the skin away from your quad, sink deep into the hips. Both hips are reaching forward or pulling back on the outside of that left hip. When you're ready, inhale, arms up with power. Breath in. Breath out, power through the heel of that left foot. Sink deep in your hips while staying strong and activated. Find your twist, right arm forward, left arm back. Open up that left shoulder. Reach long through your right arm. Reverse twisted crescent lunge, right arm reaches high. Left hand to the outside of the right leg. Breath in. Breath out, hands come and frame your front foot. Once again, find your half splits. Flex your left toes toward your face. Hips are sinking back, nice long spine. You can find a little buoyancy here if that feels good. Plant into the right or the left foot. Right foot comes to meet the left, find your forward fold. Inhale as you halfway lift, long spine, engage the lower belly. Exhale, forward fold. Slowly roll up, vertebrae by vertebrae, crown of the head comes up last. Powering through the feet. Find your Tadasana pose, hands come by your sides. Spread all 10 fingers, press into all corners of the feet. Stand strong like a mountain here. Breath in. Breath out. Root to rise, arm sweep up. Exhale, hands through heart center, forward fold. Left leg reaches back, right leg follows, find a downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward to your high plank. If you're ready for it, we'll find our chaturanga arms lower halfway down to a low push up, elbow squeeze in. Inhale for upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, roll over the tops of the feet. Press those heels into the mat. Good, we'll go through one round each side with a traditional sun salutation. Right leg reaches high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it between your hands, low lunge. Right leg meets it, halfway lift, inhale. Exhale to fold. Root to rise, arm sweep up all the way to the sky, high prayer. Exhale through heart center, forward fold. Good. Left leg reaches long, low lunge. Right leg meets it, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll forward to a high plank. Exhale, lower halfway down, find your chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Good, left leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it between your hands. Right leg meets left, halfway lift as you inhale. Exhale as you fold. 
Root to rise, power through the feet. Arms reach high. Exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale as you halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Right leg reaches long, low lunge. Left leg meets it, down dog. Inhale, roll forward, high plank. Find your way through your chaturanga, lower halfway down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Pausing here in your downward facing dog. Two rounds of breath. Breathe in. Exhale, sink deeper into the mat. On your next inhale, come up on your toes, bend your knees, gaze forward, step or hop your way to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Root to rise, arms sweep up high. Exhale, chair pose. Woo! Woo! Good y'all. David, I thought that would be your favorite part of class. Am I right? <laughs> Best part so far. Reach your pinky fingers high. Biceps come up by your ears. Sink your hips down and back. Can you tone up the core here? Everything can be a core exercise if you allow it to be. Good. Knees are reaching out over your toes, not past your toes, but directionally over your toes. Breath in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back. Find your way through a vinyasa or simply meet us in a downward facing dog. Good. Pausing here in your down dog. Breath in. Breath out. All right, right leg reaches high for a three-legged dog. Right knee, left elbow across the body. Pause here. Side plank, left arm down, right arm up. Good, so we're just extending straight back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Breath in, breath out, raise that top leg if you'd like. Right leg rises, we're finding our way to a low crescent lunge, bend into the right knee and step it forward. Awesome, hands frame that front foot. Go ahead and rise up for our high crescent lunge. Right knee stacked over your right ankle, powerful through your back leg. You can find some buoyancy here, play around with it. Feel the muscles activate and feel that transformation of the energy. Breath in, breath out. Hands to heart center. Find your goddess pose. Heels come in, toes go out. Tuck your tailbone under and down. Find some movement. Sway the head, sway the shoulders. Maybe if you make a little dance out of it. Breath in, breath out. Good, finding our way to a warrior two. Rebend the right knee towards the front of the mat. Knees reaching towards your second and third toes. Gaze over your front middle finger. Tuck this right glute in, power through the left glute. Breath in. Breath out, peaceful warrior, tick tock forward, flip that front palm, take it up and back, peaceful warrior. Left hand goes down the left shin. Good, rise up, triangle pose, straighten through the front leg, hip shift back, torso shifts forward. Hands at six and 12. Press the back of that right hand into your right calf. Twist your chest open towards the sky. Breath in, breath out. Slowly rise up. All 10 toes face the left side of your mat. Once again, clasp your hands behind your lower back. Punch your palms of your hands together. Find a wide leg forward fold. Toes come in, heels are out. Maybe you find that release of the arms and the shoulders up over your head. If this spine doesn't feel good for you, you can always grab opposite elbows behind your back. Whatever feels good. Good. Release the bind when you're ready. Walk your hands towards that front foot, right toes, 
resume towards the front of the mat. We'll find our twist once again, right arm reaches high. Exhale, plant your top hand, step your right foot up and back, three-legged dog. You can take this through a three-leg vinyasa if you'd like, keeping the right leg lifted or lower it down, move your way through your vinyasa. Whew, good, y'all. Pausing here in your downward facing dog, taking a breath, recalibrating the cadence of your breath. Breathe in. Slowly, intentionally breathe out. Left leg reaches high, three-legged dog. So listen closely, left knee to right elbow. Good, hold it here. And then we're taking the left foot on top of the right leg, finding a side plank with the right arm down. Just shooting that leg back. Left arm reaches high, lifting up through the hips. Maybe the left leg rises and then bringing the left knee into the chest and stepping it off at the front of the mat. Awesome. Pausing here, long spine, powerful back leg. Rise up, engage the core of the arms, that left glute, high crescent lunge. Find some buoyancy here. Breath in, breath out. Good work, hands to heart center. Find that goddess pose. Heels are in, toes are out. We'll find what another instructor, Talia, lovingly calls our gym class stretch. So hands come to the knees and then drop your left shoulder in, feeling that stretch through the left shoulder. So gaze comes over to the right. You're just dialing that left shoulder like in. I feel like you see this like in a Seth Rogen like high school movie or something. Rise through center and then press into the left knee, or excuse me, right knee, right shoulder comes towards center. Opening up through that right groin. Slowly come back through center. We'll find our warrior two, left toes towards the front of the mat. Deep bend in that left knee. Toes tracking over your second, knee tracking over your second and third toes. So many body parts, so little words in my vocabulary. <laughs> Deep bend in that knee, gaze over the front middle finger. Peaceful warrior, tick-tock forward, flip your palm, take it up and back. Good. Slowly rise, find your triangle pose, shift torso forward, hips back. Pull your belly button up and in. Find the spiraling of the lungs up towards the ceiling. Micro bend in both knees. Breath in. Breath out, rise up, all 10 toes towards the left side of the mat. We'll find our traditional forward fold here. Just let the arms come down towards the ground. You can play around here, keeping the hands planted on the mat under your chest. Or if you'd like to move with a twist here, you can walk your hands over to the right leg. Left hand reaches the outside of the right ankle. Right arm reaches high, back behind your tailbone. Breath in, breath out. Hands come back down towards the mat, walking them over towards that left leg. Right hand on the outside of the left ankle, left arm spirals up. Good. Breath in, exhale, come back through center. Walk your hands towards the left toes, point them towards the front of the mat. Once again, we'll find our twisted runner's lunge, left arm high, breathe in. Exhale, plant that hand, three-legged dog, left leg goes high, inhale. Find a three-legged vinyasa if that suits you, shifting forward, keeping that left leg high until you find your upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. Good, y'all. Let's move through one more flow here. Let's take our right leg high, three-legged dog. Right knee, left elbow once again. Fall in triangle. Extend your right leg long. Left arm reaches high. Breath in. Breath out. 
Left hand plants, find your side plank once again, right foot on top of left. Good. Rise that right knee up, right leg up. Find your wild thing, plant it back behind you. Lift your hips, right arm reaches up and over. Breath in, breath out. Find your warrior lunge, taking that right foot forward when you're ready. Good, breath in, breath out. Good, warrior two, open up. Like you're being pulled in both directions from your arms. Good. Find your peaceful warrior. And then find your extended side angle, right elbow to right inner thigh. Left arm reaches up and over your left ear, palm facing down. Press into the razor edge of that left foot. Stay open across the chest, strong through the legs. Bring your left hand to your left hip. Finding your half moon pose, right hand plants on the outside of that right pinky toe. Draw your left foot up and in, stack your left foot on top, excuse me, your left hip on top of the right. Gaze towards your top hand if you choose to extend it. If you'd like to find that bind that we found at the beginning of class, you can bend into the left knee, catching your foot on the top of the foot, that pinky toe side. Good, y'all. One more breath here. Slowly finding our way to a warrior two, stepping towards the back of the mat. Peaceful warrior, once again, side body stretch, and then windmill your hands down towards the ground. Step your right foot back, find your vinyasa. Good. Grab your breath. Grab your intention that you set at the beginning of class. How are you cultivating it in this moment? Breath in, breath out. Left leg high, three-legged dog. Left knee, right elbow across the body. Fall in triangle, let that leg reach long. Right arm reaches high. Lift your hips up an inch higher. Breath in, side plank, left foot on top of right. Left arm rises. Lifting up through your right side body. Left leg rises off the right. Wild thing, plant it back behind you. Left arm reaches towards the top of the mat. Hips reach high. Breath in. Finding our way, bend that left knee. High crescent lunge at the top of the mat. Good. Playing with some levitating here today. Arms reach high, breath in. Exhale, open warrior two. Beautiful work. Externally rotating that front knee, engaging the right glute. Gaze over your front middle finger. Peaceful warrior, tick tock forward, up and back, lengthen through that left side body. Extended side angle, left elbow, left inner thigh, right arm reaches up and over, palm facing down. Feel that energy from your outside of your right foot, all the way through your right fingertips. Good, right hand comes to right thigh or right hip. Find your half moon pose. Left fingertips come to ground. Stack your right hip on top of the left. Flex the right toes back towards you. Maybe you extend your right arm high. Playing around with that bind. If you tried it on the first time, just explore, try it again. Bend into the right knee, catch that foot, and then kick to open up. Good, breath in. If you fall out, get right back in. We are all worthy of a second chance. Finding your warrior two, slowly step to the back of the mat. Open up those arms. Peaceful warrior. Exhale, windmill your hands down. Find your vinyasa. Good work. Downward facing dog. Let's tiptoe our feet all the way to the top of the mat. Step by step, inch by inch. Clasp your hands behind your lower back. And then reach your fingertips up towards the sky. Bring your 
clasped hands to the outside of the right hip, bend into the right knee, gaze past that left shoulder, finding this hip stretch to that outer left hip. Breath in, breath out. Hands come through center, clasp hands, come to the outside of the left hip, bend into the left knee, gaze past the right shoulder. Breath in, breath out. Release your bind, let's roll up once again, all the way to the top. We'll find our way through a relatively quick standing series here. So first starting, right knee comes into the chest. We can stay here. We're going to find our way to Utita Hasta C, which involves grabbing the outside of your right foot with your left hand and then extending that heel towards the front of the mat. Maybe your right hand comes back behind you and you follow that gaze towards the right hand. Stand strong out of the right leg, breath in, breath out. Both hands come around your front foot. Let's try to bring our chest towards our standing leg. Breath in, breath out. Finding our way to our dancer's pose, bend into that foot. I originally allotted for more time than this, but I thought we were doing an hour and a half class today. <laughs> Kick into our, I didn't really think that. It's okay, everyone. <laughs> Kick into that hand, you got it, breath in. Breath out, slowly release, chair pose. Woo, Woo! good, breath in. Breath out, rise into the left leg this time. Finding your eagle pose, left leg wraps over the right. Knees track back towards center, arms come out to shoulder height. Left arm under the right, crossing at the elbows, connecting at the palms, sinking down into that right hip. Again, if knees sway over to the right, bring them back to center, breath in. <laughs> All right, y'all, standing splits. Left leg reaches high, just for a moment, breath in. Seated spinal twist, bring your Left knee to the outside of the right foot. Whew. Left arm reaches high, long spine, plant the right hand behind you. Connect the left elbow on the outside of the right knee. Gaze comes back behind. Breath in. Breath out. Find your counter twist to the opposite side of the mat. Unravel. Unwind, and then bring your shins back through center. We'll find some rock and rolls of the spine, finding our way all the way up to our standing pose. Once again, you can use your hands, stand up. We're all here, good. All right, all that opposite side. Arms reach high, hands to heart center. Good, cleansing breath, left knee rises. Again, you can stay here with the twist. That's great too. Otherwise, grab the outside of that left foot with your right hand. Kick your heel forward. Left arm reaches back of the mat. Gaze follows. Stand strong out of that right glute. Breath in. Breath out to stay. One more breath. Both hands come around the front foot. Whew. Punch the heel forward. Draw your chest down towards that standing leg. One side is always better than the other. That is okay. Find your dancer's pose. Bend into that left knee. Grab the inside of the foot. Right arm reaches forward. Kick into your hand. Slight bend in that right knee. Draw down in the outer left hip. Reach higher. Woo. Finding your way to chair pose. Woo Sink low. Reach high. Breath in. Rise up, right knee into your chest. Eagle pose, wrap that right knee over the left. Single or double wrap. Right arm comes under the left. Palms connect. Keeping your spine long, sinking deep in that left hip. Knees track forward, breath in. Squeeze everything together, breath out. Standing splits, right leg high, hands come down to the ground. One breath, reach long. Seated spinal twist. Bring your right knee to the outside of that left foot. 
right arm high, press down into the sits bones, exhale, knee to the opposite side of that left knee. I mean elbow, opposite side of left knee. Gaze behind you, breath in, breath out. Find your counter twist here. Good. Awesome, y'all. Both feet come to plant. Find your way down onto your back. Good. Bring your heels right under your glutes. We'll find our way into one bridge pose and one wheel pose before we really bring it down. So hands come down by your sides, press into your heels. Let's lift those hips up. Clasp your hands under your lower back, draw one shoulder blade under and then the other. Press your hands into the mat to lift higher. Knees are tracking towards one another. Breath in. Breath out to stay. One more breath here. Slowly come down, release the bind. Bring your feet out wide, pinky toes to the edge of the mat. Press your knees together and press your lower back down. Release and widen across that lower spine. Maybe your hands come to your heart and your belly. To help ease the slowing of the breath. All right, you can take that bridge pose one more time. Otherwise, we'll find our way into our wheel pose. Hands come up by your shoulders, fingertips facing down towards your shoulders. Press into your feet, into your hands, push up. Press into your hands so your chest releases up and over them. Your shins are reaching over your toes. Your belly button is reaching up towards the ceiling. Find power and grace here. Your breath is all your focus needs to be on for two more breaths. When you're ready, tuck the chin, slowly roll down, vertebrae by vertebrae. Let's find that active recovery again. Bring your pinky toes out wide, knees knock together, press your lower back into the mat. Breath in, breath out, breath in, breath out. Let your knees windshield wiper side to side, rock out that lower spine. Bring your right knee into your chest. Let your left leg reach long. Hug that right knee up and in. Flex and point your right toes. And then take your right leg over to the left side of the mat. Keeping your left hand on that right knee to pull it down towards the earth. Gaze over your cactus right hand. Breath in, breath out, come back through center. Right leg reaches long, left leg hugs in. Take it up and into that armpit. Flex and point your left toes. Then drop your left knee over on the right side of the mat. Cactus at the left elbow. Gaze over your left hand. Find your way back through center. Find a happy baby pose. Grab your Big toes with your peace sign fingers, draw your knees to the outer edges of your armpits. 
Breath in. Breath out. Have a nice long spine on the mat. And straighten into the right leg, straighten into the left leg. Yeah, isn't it great? And then go ahead and roll up into a comfortable seated position. We'll find our way into a quick round of our double pigeon pose. So use the edge of your mat as a guideline. Try to bring your shin about parallel to that with a flexed ankle. And then stack your opposite leg on top of that, trying for your, pin, your shins to be stacked one on top of the other. If one knee like sticks up high, that's perfectly fine. Reach long in your spine and then walk those hands forward out in front of you. You can come down onto the forearms, whatever position you're at to feel the stretch engage but not be painful is perfect. Slowly come up when you're ready. Extend the, whichever leg was on top, extend it out long. Arms reach up, square your torso over your extended leg and then forward fold. Inhale, rise. Go ahead and bend that extended leg in. We'll have that be the bottom leg this time. Bring it squared to the top of your mat. Stack your other shin right on top. Both ankles are flexed. Good. Nice long spine. And then walk those hands forward. Slowly rise, right leg or whichever leg was on top extends long, arms reach high, forward fold over your extended leg. Breath in, breath out as you fold deeper. Slowly rise. Both legs ex extend out in front of you, arms reach high. Exhale, forward fold. Slowly rise. Arms reach out in front of you. Begin to roll down vertebrae by vertebrae. Finding your final resting pose of Shavasana. Your toes splay out wide, palms come facing up. Connect with the mat through your shoulders, your hips, and just imagining the mat as a piece of comfort, infusing every inch of your body that's touching it. Release your tongue from the roof of your mouth. We'll find five breaths here. One more breath, all together, breathe in. Exhale, release. Find your way to the top of the mat into a comfortable seated position when you're ready.
Draw your hands up above you. Bring them to touch and then bring that energy down into your heart center. Breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. Bring your thumb knuckles up to meet your third eye for a rub of acknowledgement. The light in me sees, honors, and reflects the light in each and every one of you yogis. Thank you for sharing in this practice with me. Namaste. Namaste.